the truth is not a side of you the truth is not a part of you the truth is the absence of this fictitious thing called you that's how the false survives by calling a part of itself as the truth you know yes of course of course i'm i'm false but here this part of me my big toe that's the truth next time when the big toe is proven to be false then this little finger of mine this is the truth then when even this little finger is proven to be false oh well my molars in here they are the truth even that is proven to be false then my left ear and you have so many things you can keep doing left right left right left eye is right right eye is right left nostril right nostril and you can keep going lower down the body left right left right this is truth that is truth the truth doesn't keep hanging like that sir learn to deny anything that arises from within you and if you can't deny it at least scrutinize it very very honestly the moment you start granting it quick entry some kind of a wild card uninterrogated unquestioned there is a big problem look how confident people are when they say i'm telling you the truth it's coming right from here my heart see how confident they are that the truth is within them and this fellow is saying here here from here do my words come i am very very truthful you are my goddess what happens to that truth exactly 5 and 1/2 weeks later the goddess has changed maybe that's why we have so many gods and goddesses in india because we are so quick to call anybody a goddess next door sheela kumari becomes a goddess for you and she is convinced because you said what i'm telling you is coming from that side of me that part of me which is the truth no part of you is the truth this thing called you me i myself is an entire absolute lie do not patronize any bit of it you, you, you understand what i'm saying see the false is actually very very vulnerable it's it's in a very uncomfortable position because it is false therefore the facts keep exposing it and humiliating it so how does falseness still manage to survive falseness says oh yes obviously i have been exposed today today i have been totally exposed but tomorrow i'll be better some part of itself it has saved as being truthful it has accepted that my present is rotten but says no 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 my future will be good you see tomorrow i'll be a different man tomorrow i'll be a different man the thing is it is your present and your future present changes to future have you changed you haven't changed 
so your present and your future actually belong to the same domain called you even when you are denying and disowning your present you are still managing to own your future and when you own your future you have you have de facto still preserved yourself so i'll happily disown my past and my present no no you know i was a very bad man and i did very badly today as well but tomorrow i'll be a better person i promise that's how falseness keeps saving itself you see you 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 take a balloon hmm? you take a balloon right and let the balloon be cylindrical that takes me back to my j days let there be a cylindrical balloon of length l and radius r right the radius is small hmm? there is air in the balloon obviously what else what's in the balloon air now you want to push the air out of the balloon so what do you do you squeeze the balloon from one end and it's been totally squeezed it's gone has the air gone where is the air now the air hides in some other corner that's how the ego manages to survive you squeeze one part of it it agrees you have squeezed me of course see see the poor ego has shriveled gone squeezed but what has happened to the to the bloat within to the air within has it really gone out no it has just been relocated to some other part of the self therefore i am saying no part of the self is the truth hmm so now there is the bloat there what do you do you attack that part and you say i am squeezing it here what does the ego do it it comes to some other part some other part some other part some other part you you press here it goes there push it from here it hides there you have to puncture the whole thing any part of it that you keep safe that's a problem there are some parts of it that we want to keep safe we say but but you know this is my sacred personal domain obviously the other things i can disown but this thing i cannot disown even a little that you are attached to possessive about hmm and want to keep holding to becomes a safe sanctuary for the ego imagine some part of the balloon you have labeled as very sensitive or sacred and won't ever touch or squeeze what will that part act as the safe sanctuary for the air within all else will be squeezed that part will keep harboring the the air what's more at some point you will let go of the squeeze and then the air will occupy the entire cylinder again nothing would have changed puncture the whole thing drop the whole thing it's either all or nothing there is nothing in the domain of the and i know i am being repetitive i need to be there is nothing in the domain of the ego you need to preserve happily abandon
सेव वन थिंग एंड यू हैव सेव द टोटैलिटी ऑफ योर यूजलेस स्ट्रक्चर दैट्स अ रीजन वाई स्पिरिचुअल सीकर्स कीप वंडरिंग बट आई हैव बीन ऑन द पाथ ऑफ साधना सिंस ट्वेंटी ईयर्स वाई डू आई स्टिल फील फ्राइटेंड वाई डू आई स्टिल feel anxious and greedy and all that because you were too afraid or attached to let go of one part of yourself the part that you called as the truth it was not the truth it was the worst falseness possible why am i calling it the worst falseness because that is the part that saved the entirety of your falseness by calling itself as the truth you get this the ego is like a net hmm net if you remain entangled in one part of the net is it one part of the net you are entangled in or the whole net the whole net that's what either you will be totally free of the net or you will be caught in the net you cannot say i'm partially free of the net what happens to a fish that is partially free of the net it is caught and cut you are on the railway track and the engine is approaching and you say you know i was just i was actually partially out of the reach of the engine what happens to those who are partially out of the reach of the engine do they die partially yeah you are either out or dead this is a gross gross misconception that the truth and the falseness is both within me it inflates the ego like anything but it is very popular very very popular the false is in you and the truth too is in you and they are parting side by side right how are the two coexisting within you sir we knew we had been told and taught that the truth has no neighbor that the truth does not coexist with anything because it is infinite how is it so that within you the true and the false are coexisting what kind of small truth is this and all of us left to say that ask yourself and you will get the right answer the truth is within you and you feel so inflated and empowered right this fellow is talking sense ask yourself the truth is within you and you will get the right answer you ask yourself a question and from within you will get a b c d four options and it is the type of mcq in which all four a b c d are wrong and there is no fifth option that says all four are wrong the fifth one is out of syllabus 
therefore it is called atit beyond it is beyond your inner syllabus are you getting it you ask yourself a, a, an inner question which job do i pick up which business do i start with what do i do in such a situation and immediately from within four answers pop up a b c d rest assured all four deserve to be discarded the right answer i said that is beyond the scope of the syllabus and the question paper that is beyond the scope of both the questioner and the answerer now you are befuddled but then what do i do if neither a nor b nor c nor d if if nothing is is valid then you know what do i do in life you need to have the courage to live with that uncertainty and the right one will then be available to you the right one keeps waiting for you to reject all four searching for the truth you know within you is a bit like searching for a vegan burger in kfc by definition everything there has not only milk but flesh what the hell are you looking there for but the seller is so dexterous and so cunning he will give you four options you asked for a vegan burger you will still get four options irrespective of the one you tick what you will get will have blood that is the ego it offers you what does it does not have it is so deceptive you want peace the ego says i have peace Hmm? just as you say i want vegan and kfc says i have i am building up a story all right and kfc says i have vegan the ego is the kfc within you say i want peace and the ego says okay. ego by its definition has no peace but not only does it say i do have peace it even gives you four options to get peace peace a peace b peace c peace d irrespective of the option you choose there will be blood don't choose anything just walk out no A little secret: vegan burgers exist, but you first need to walk out of the KFCs of the world. No, but you know. how do i believe that only you are the truthful one this innocent looking manager just came to me and told me that they have four vegan options later on you ask him but how are these options vegan well the chicken never drank any milk vegan chicken that's ego for you 
मैनिपुलेटिव फुलिश अनरिलायबल डोंट ट्रस्ट योर इनर वॉइस ए बी सी और डी 